Well, hello! So, I'm trying to think when I last spoke to you. I think it was when I went for my eight week appointment. So, I thought it was about time I gave you an update. So, I'm now about 10, 11 weeks. So, I've got the um, appointment for my dating scan or our dating scan next Friday, which I'm actually really excited about. I think it'll make it real when I see it. It's still a bit. It hasn't quite sunk in. We, we, you know, you talk about it as if it's real, and there are times when it feels really real because I feel so rubbish still at times. Um, but then it's still getting your head around the fact that I'm actually going to, or we're going to actually have a little person. Um, so since I last saw you, I was then starting to come down with a cold that developed into like the worst cold I have ever had and that is no word of a lie it was literally in my ears in my throat i got a really chesty cough um streaming and bunged up nose to the point where you feel all the pressure behind your eyes um and then one of the drawbacks from being pregnant is that you cannot take any medication so you can take one paracetamol is what I was advised when my temperature got above 38 degrees so to the point where I actually had a high temperature and that can then be harmful to the baby um, so I did get to that point I did take one paracetamol but then you almost feel so guilty just in case it is doing something that I wasn't reluctant to take any more so you're trying to weigh up the the pros and the cons oh god what if the temperature then hurts it what if the paracetamol hurts it and eventually literally it lasted all week um and then eventually it, it did go but it was awful we were sleeping with bowls of vicks and hot water all around the bedroom i've got um my best friend charlie bought me a like a, a wax burner um which i was also using so i was using that but again had albus oil and vicks in it at night um, I had nasal sprays to try and help and that's literally all I could and inhalations as well that's the only thing I could do to try and clear it unfortunately it does seem like I might be coming down with another one um, which seems to be a drawback because your immune system is so low you do it is prone that you pick up lots and lots of colds and unfortunately you can't do anything about it um, the only thing I have read is that if Obviously, I want to try and get some vitamin C because that should try and help me combat it. And I hear vitamin D is actually quite good as well. So I'm going to try and get some of those over the weekend. Other than that, aches and pains. I've had quite a lot of aches and pains in terms of backache and stomach ache. Um, to the point where I have actually started this aqua class. My first one was last night. I was the youngest of the group. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Um, I found it really boring and I found I really struggled with that purely because I'm used to if I'm gonna do a class or go to the gym I like to do kind of high impact stuff that I feel is doing something um, whereas because a lot of well everything you're doing is under the water you don't feel hot and sweaty um, that's not to say you aren't sweating because you might be but obviously you're in water so so you don't know um, and the water was quite chilly, so it was quite cold. Um, however, the pain that I was getting, so I was getting a trapped nerve, um, which was whenever I walked, was then say, shoot, sending a shooting pain through my bum. Um, and then the other night, I, I normally only get it on my left side. The other night, I actually got it on both sides. So I literally, I was crippled. I could not walk when I got to bed. Um, to be fair, I've not had that pain today. My back has really been hurting, um, but who knows? It might actually be aching. You don't, you don't know. Um, so I've been doing that. We have now told our parents, which is really nice. Now that we can actually share it, it, it means you can almost feel like you can get excited. Um, which, yeah, that is great. That's really nice. Um, what else is there to tell you? I think that is really pretty much it. So I think I may have felt some flutterings, although it could be too early, so that might all be in my head because obviously I don't know what I'm looking for. 
Um, but hopefully next Friday we'll confirm a lot of things. Um, it will actually confirm the dates. So we'll actually know how far along I am because, for all I know, I could be due next week. Um, and then we'll go from there. Oh, and the other thing is we have also been on holiday, and I did find I struggled with the heat a lot more because I and I also get out of breath a lot easier. Um, so when we were walking around a lot, I did have to take quite a few breaks because of the heat and also because of um, being out of breath. And I find that going up and down the stairs at work and those kind of things as well. Normally I'd be absolutely fine. I'm not saying I'm the fittest person in the world, but I'm not completely out of fit that whenever I take laundry up, you know, upstairs, that I'm then out of breath. But at the moment I am. Um, I really just feel like I cannot take in enough oxygen in my lungs. Um, but again, apparently that is quite common as well. Um, so, yeah, we will look forward to next Friday. I'll give you an update then. Um, and that's it for now. So see you later.